Welcome to the development video of Krushkal's algorithm. In this video, you will learn how to develop Krushkal's algorithm in C++ effectively and efficiently. So if you do not understand how the algorithm works, I recommend you see my video, which is going to be in the description, and understand how the algorithm works, and then come back here and learn how to develop it. Right? So let's go ahead and see what the input we will write is. It's gonna be this input, all right? And the explanation is gonna be like that. N is gonna be the number of nodes, M is gonna be the number of edges, and then the M lines which will follow will describe the edges. Each line will describe, will describe one edge, A, B, W, meaning edge from A to B with weight W, all right? So that's pretty much very simple. And this is pretty much the inputs, right? So in this case, we have seven nodes, nine edges. This line says that there is an edge from six to two with weight three. So very clear, very simple. So let's go ahead and see the codes and explain how it works. So you will include these three libraries and then you will need to write down this code, this piece of code and this piece of code right here to have the disjoint set data structure. So I'm gonna explain how the data structure works in another video, but we will go and see very quick how this works. You will have an array of 100 places. Actually 100 is the maximum number of nodes you will be having. If you will be having 1,000, you write here 1,000, all right? Then you will need this function find, which finds the highest ancestor of x, integer x, so the highest ancestor of x, it's going to be the father of itself. So when it isn't, you return find father x, right? So that's pretty much the, the recursive function find. And then you're going to unite. Unite is going to unite two trees. You have two nodes, one from each tree, x and y. You find the fathers of each node. And you make the father of the, of the father of x to be the father of y. So in this way, you connect the two trees, right? So that's the unite uh, function of the disjoint sets. All right, so let's go ahead in our main function. We initialize the father's array, which we will use in disjoint sets. And then we declare the variables to load the inputs, right? So we have integer nm, we have integer a, b, w, as explained before. And then we have this vector, which is going to be named, named edges. It's going to have a pair. Pair is a built-in uh, structure you can use. Very easy, very nice. And in the first place of the first pair, we will have the weight. And then we will have another pair, which will hold the first note and the second note, right? Integers, everything is an integer, right? Then we start by loading the input. We load n and d and m. We read them in, and then we make a for loop right here from zero to m minus one to read the edges. So we read a b w, and we push in our vector make pair. First part is gonna be the weight. Second part is gonna be another pair a and b, which is the nodes the pair the edge actually connects. So that's pretty much how you load the input. Then we'll print a line to separate input from output, just for you to see. And now we begin with the Krushkal's algorithm. So firstly, we declare the variables for the minimum spanning tree. So what we need is the weight of the MST, the edges it has, which is going to be initially zero. We have no edge in our minimum spanning tree right now. And the next index, we will, we will check in edges in vector edges, which is firstly zero, which is gonna be the first uh, element of edges. All right, so we begin with step one. We sort the list of edges, right? So sort edges.begin, comma, edges.end. This is how you sort the vector. And it's gonna sort with the first key, which is gonna be the weight right here. Right here is gonna be the weight. And so the lighter the edge is, the higher it's going to be in our vector. So in index zero of our vector, we, ha we will have the lightest uh, edge 
in our whole graph, right? So to write down this function, you will need this library, right? So that's why you need algorithm. Now, let's go ahead with step two and three, which is combined. Uh, it is a loop while right here. And we need two things right here. We need uh, MST edges to be less, to be smaller than n minus one. Since when we're gonna reach n minus one, we will have the MST completed. And we will need the index to be lower than m, so we, we will never get out of our edges vector bounds, right? Then we break the edge into the three integers they describe it. All right, so we have uh, in the second pair, the first number is gonna be A, the first note. In the second pair, the second number is gonna be B. And the first number we see in each place is gonna be the weight, the weight of our edge. Now we check if the edge is okay to be included in the MST. That is that it doesn't create a cycle. And that means that A and B are in different trees. If they are on the same tree, we will create a cycle. I mean, that if you have two nodes in the same tree and connect them again, if they are not connected and you connect them, you will create a cycle, all right? So we check if the ancestor of A, all right, is not the same as the ancestor of B. That means they are not in the same tree. And when I say ancestor, I mean I mean the highest, the highest node in the tree they exist. All right. So if they are not the same, we have two different trees, and we go ahead and connect them. We unite them into one tree with unite of these joint sets, and then we add the weight of the edge to the MST weight uh, variable. All right. Then we print the edge right here, and we count one more edge inside our MST. All right, so the if statement right here ends, we increase the index of the node that we are checking, and we repeat the loop again until we have n minus one edges in our node, in our tree, sorry, in our MST. All right, then we present the weight, right here with this line right here, very simple. And that's the end of our algorithm, of our program. So let's go ahead and press the run and execute. Copy the inputs right here. And paste it right here. we we'll just do this, edit paste. Sorry, let's copy this again. Copy comes here, edit paste. All right, so we have the input, press enter, and there you have it, the output is the same as here. All right, so these are the edges, you will include your minimum spanning tree, and this is the weight of your minimum spanning tree. So that's pretty much the algorithm, people. I hope you like the video and you learned something of it. So please subscribe and I will see you in whatever I make next. Goodbye.